One of the key components to success when breeding Corydoras and raising the fry is nutrition. And in this video, I'm gonna share exactly the foods that I feed to provide that nutrition for a healthy and fast growth break. So let's go ahead and dive in. What is going on everybody and welcome. If this is our first time meeting, I am Kendall Otter from Otter Creek Aquatics. And if you're looking to grow your aquarium keeping skills or looking for other videos pertaining to the aquarium hobby, then make sure you go ahead and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming weekly videos. Now let's go ahead and dive into that Corridor's Fry nutrition. So when it comes to raising Corridor's Fry, after they hatch out of the egg, they usually eat on their yolk sac for the first couple of days. So you don't want to necessarily feed any foods that are going to foul the water up during that time. After that first couple of days, that's when I start implementing the foods. And the first thing that I always go to is Aquarium Co-op's fry food. And I'm not being paid to say this or anything. This is just a really good food and it's really fine for small fish. And the best thing about it is that when you first put it into the water, it actually floats and then it sinks. So if you have some guppy fry, this will work perfect. And then the Corridor's fry, it'll float at first, then it'll sink to the bottom where they can get to it easily. One of the next foods that I feed is Tetra Tropical Color Granules. And I can mix this up with pretty much any pellet food that I wish. This just tends to be one of the cheaper ones. You get a big container for right around like 10 or 11 bucks. And I'll put a link to that on Amazon down in the description. But you can see here that it's a pretty big pellet and it may be hard for them to eat, especially in the first couple of weeks. So what I use is a little tool that I actually got from my aquarium box. It's a flake and pellet grinder. And you just fill it up with whatever food you want. And then you basically can control the size of the granule coming out with this button. So if you hit it pretty hard, it's gonna be a bigger granule. And then if you just barely tap it, you can kind of get that aquarium co-op fry feel where it's kind of like almost a powder form and that becomes extremely easy for them to feed as well. You can use some bug bites, which I use pretty often in here as well. I rotate between a lot of my pellet foods and this really helps me to get those Corridor's Fry what they need. The next couple of foods I feed, which is gonna give them their algae or their vegetation basically, is Hikari algae wafers and Fluval bug bites, Pleco formula. And I think these are two really well-known brands and they have really good ingredients that the fry need to actually thrive. And these become in some pretty big size wafers or granules. So the way that I do that is I break it up into really small pieces that way, once it starts to soften up, they can eat it pretty easily. Or sometimes I'll even crush it down to where it's almost a powder form, like the two I talked about before. The next food is kind of one that I've been experimenting with, and it is the Shrimp Dinner by Glass Garden. And this is the same brand that makes Bacter AE, and they've really been taken to it and eating it well. It, is really good for shrimp really good for boost, boosting that immune system for baby shrimp and regular shrimp let me know if you've ever fed any corridors fry this shrimp dinner or anything outside of shrimp if you've fed some plecos or some regular size big corridors let me know the next food i really don't have that much experience with i really just started playing around with it and that is rapashi foods so I got this from Aquarium Co-op as well. And this is the bottom scratcher version. I'm not sure what the benefits are of each individual type of food, but let me know down in the comments below if you fed any Rapashi to your Corridors or Plecos and let me know what your favorite one is so I can try it. So those are the foods that I've been mixing up throughout the day. And one thing that I wanna to touch on 
when it comes to feeding your fish in general, especially fry, they benefit more from eating throughout the day rather than just feeding them one time. So instead of going in there and dropping a bunch of that aquarium co-op fry food or squeezing the crap out of that thing to get those tetratropical color granules down in there, I'll come in here, feed a little bit of the aquarium co-op fry food, and then come in a few hours later, give them some tetratropical granules, and then come back in and I might give them the shrimp dinner or the bug bites and this really helps them to just eat throughout the day because even as humans we're supposed to eat small meals up to 10 times a day rather than just gorging ourselves one time a day so and i think that's the same thing with fish so if you could you could get an automatic feeder that's really going to help you out when raising your corridors fry or any fry for that matter it's going to help them grow a lot faster and you're going to get some more benefits out of that. If there's another food that you think that I should be feeding to help boost the growth rate of these guys, maybe possibly make them healthier, let me know down in the comments below. I'm really getting satisfaction out of what I've got, but I'm always willing to try what other people suggest. So throw your suggestions down in the comments below. So I really just want to say thank you for everyone that has been subscribing lately. It's really blowing my mind how much people are coming in and showing support. Thank you for all of you that have been subscribed and keep coming back to show that support. Keep commenting, keep liking. It really means the world to me. It really helps the channel out and it really helps me out in gaining that confidence to keep coming back week by week. So thank you all for watching. Keep following your dreams. Keep inspiring. And until next time, everybody, see ya.